Hello there. We're going to do some playoff NFL picks today. Playoffs? Love, love Jim Moore. Anywho, <clears throat> it's wild card weekend. We have six games in which to go uh, over, which is going to be fantastic. My regular season ended with a 13 and 3 week, uh, 149, 89 and 1. So I finished the season with a 623 winning percentage. Yes. You ever see that meme with that little kid that's like maybe like a year or two old and he's like this? Yeah, I kind of like that one. Wish I could just put that up on the board. But we don't even do editing around here. Low rent, low budget. High content. All right, so let's get into the Saturday games. Here on Friday afternoon, I have a little bit of um, injury data that, that I get for Saturday because the way they release these things is the day before, which is uber helpful as far as the Sunday games, but I'm going to pick them anyway. So... Saturday games uh, at 145, or excuse me, 105 game is um, the Indianapolis Colts heading to Buffalo. Um, the injury sheet's pretty clean on, the, on this game particularly. Um, Josh Allen, great season. Possible top three MVP. He's really done himself proud. And I think he's going to have enough to get over Indianapolis this this time, particularly at home. Um, I think this Buffalo team is starting to take a look. They're, they're taking on a look of destiny at this point. I really I really like what they're doing. They're well balanced. They're very well coached. Second game. Four ten start. I believe it is, or, or, or excuse me, it's a four forty start. Is the L.A. Rams uh, heading to Seattle? To the um, the stadium formerly known as CenturyLink Field, they've renamed it. They had a merger. Um, here's how I see this game. Stadium commentary notwithstanding, Jared Goff had to have sur had to have surgery to repair that thumb of his, and he wasn't that good before the thumb injury. He's okay. All right, that injury is going to be an issue. He may not even be able to play at all. I think he's going to be on the bench, hoping that Wofford can get them can get them past um, Seattle. I don't think so. I don't. Um, and then if and then if he comes in, I think that thumb's going to be an issue. It's going to be cold. It's going to be there's going to be all kinds of problems there. I have to think because of that that. Um, that it's going to be Seattle winning this game. And by the way, did I mention Russ is on that team? Russell Wilson? Yeah. I I, I don't think this ends well for the LA Rams. Um, so that's the issue there. Third game, 8.15 p.m. We're looking at Tampa Bay. See what I did there? Going to play the... Fighting Ron Rivera's in the playoffs. Did I say something about Coach of the Year a few a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Wins this game or not? Okay, because I don't think they are. I think Tampa Bay is going to win this game. Mike Evans is is questionable uh, due to his knee injury. That puts Antonio Brown out there, and you notice he's been real quiet. He's been fairly productive in the role that he's in. And he's not that 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 inner diva is not getting out. I'm impressed. Um, that's going to be an issue. That, that that you know Evans gives way, and you and you get somebody like Antonio Brown. He's an absolute talent. Um, I think it will be a closer game than a lot of people think. Chase Young's going to have a heck of a game. But I do not think he's going to be able to, to take Tampa Bay. Um, Washington doesn't have the offense, I think. 
They don't have the running game. Tampa's got a pretty decent defense. I don't think that they can try to outscore them. They're going to have to try to drag them down into the low teens. And I just don't see a Tampa Bay offense staying in the teens. I, I, I think this is a one, maybe this is a seven to ten point game in all likelihood, but I think Tampa Bay takes this game. So Saturday games, I'm looking at Buffalo at home over Indy, looking at Seattle over, over the L.A. Rams, and Tampa Bay at, at, at on the road against Washington. And I do think if there's a slaughter to be had in these three, it's going to be the Seattle-L.A. Rams game. I just have a feeling um, on those games. Uh, Buffalo could be. Buffalo could blow out anybody. But um, that L.A. Rams game has the smell of a, who who brought these guys in? You know, because there's always one. You go to a party and say, "Who let this guy in? Who let this d bag in?" That's the Rams. So there. Let's move on. Sunday. We have Baltimore Ravens. We're gonna they're gonna go to Tennessee. They're gonna go um, look to avenge last year's knock out of the playoffs. And um, I will say Baltimore is playing better down the stretch. I actually think the Ravens are going to get this done. I think they're going to win on the road. Uh, they've played very well down the stretch, and their defense is, is, starting to, is starting to reassert itself, starting to get a little bit more physicality again after they basically look neutered in the midseason, and then all of a sudden they got it back. And... Um, you have to say it's a great coaching job from from um, from John Harbaugh in that in that respect. Two really good coaches on the field on this one. I think it's gonna be a really good game. I don't have a high conviction on this pick because I, I think it's gonna be a close game, but I think Baltimore takes this one. Second game will be the antithesis antithesis of that. Chicago is heading to New Orleans, uh, 4:40 p.m. Drew Brees is not going to let this be his last game. Um, I, I do believe New Orleans takes this game handily. Um, I expect the game to be over in the third quarter, quite frankly. Final game of the, evening, uh, of the weekend is going to be Cleveland heading to Pittsburgh. Um, they're not the Brownie Scouts anymore. Cleveland, Cleveland brought it this year. They, they finally achieved at or higher than what they were expected to do, which they haven't done since Mayfield's been there. Problem is, however, Stefanski is 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 got the, <clears throat> and he's not going to be able to coach. He's not going to be able to signal call. There's a symbiotic relationship between him and Baker Mayfield, and that's going to get interrupted in this in this in this game. Um, that's going to be a very bad thing for them when you have a defense the caliber of Pittsburgh's. I think Pittsburgh um, will do enough on offense to shake the cobwebs off. Pittsburgh's going to advance in this game at home. So again, on Sunday, I'm looking at Baltimore on the road. I'm looking at New Orleans at, at home over Chicago. And uh, Pittsburgh at home over Cleveland. A great season for Cleveland, and Cleveland's looking good. I mean, they, they're they going to bring back a nice nucleus next year. There's a lot to be excited about um, up by the lake. They're going to be okay. Stefanski was a very good hire. Um they're going to give they're going to give uh, Baltimore and Pittsburgh all they want next year. Okay, got it. You got to feel you got to feel that that that's a that's a franchise that's heading in the right direction. So again, Buffalo over Indy at home, Seattle over the Rams at home, Tampa Bay on the road against Washington, Sunday games Baltimore at, uh, on the road against Tennessee, New Orleans at home against Chicago, Pittsburgh at home against Cleveland. Enjoy the games, guys. Like, share, no, got the order wrong again, because I'm all about sharing. Isn't that sweet of me? Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all, and then share, because sharing's still caring. Okay? Enjoy the, enjoy the games this weekend. And I'll be back to do the, the next round of the playoffs next weekend, you know, Friday or Saturday, depending on what the schedule looks like. Probably be Friday night. Could be Saturday morning. But I will be here because that's what I do. Peace out, me homies. 
See ya.